Creating a small themed exhibition is a great way to showcase a particular story from your collection without having to rethink your permanent exhibition space. A small exhibition could be relating to an event or anniversary in your region and could be changed over a few times a year. This video will illustrate how you can create a small one cabinet themed exhibit or a series of cabinets to create an exhibition. We will be using examples from the Strong Roots Resilient Communities exhibition, which brought together 10 communities and over 100 volunteers in the Bull Oak Shire to develop a travelling historical exhibition following the 2011 floods. Members of historical societies across 10 communities in the Bull Oak Shire gathered together to discuss ideas. The group then narrowed down the ideas from the initial brainstorming session to come up with a series of themes that could be covered in the exhibition. Once you have your exhibition theme and preliminary objects, you can decide how to organise the content of your exhibition. It could be chronological, taxonomic or thematic. In this example, the group decided to use the thematic approach and have grouped objects together across themes. It is a good idea to also think about who you want to attract to your exhibition. Considering the collection items chosen for the exhibition, the group decided on themes including sport, communications, education, war, local business, and Aboriginal history, it was decided to dedicate a display case to each. The general themes decided at the beginning of the process were examined, and the group considered what stories they might tell about these themes. Rather than just presenting facts, it can be helpful to tell a story about the object, or a group of objects. Once you have narrowed down what objects you will include in your display, Experiment with a few different options before you decide how the display cabinets should be set up. This helps you decide if you are overcrowding the case and also gives you a sense of how much space you have for labels. It is useful to photograph these mock-ups of your display to help you decide which is the best option and what exhibition furniture you might require. Many small museums and historical societies may have members who have carpentry skills who could build exhibition furniture such as plinths, object rests or stands from wood or even foam core. Inexpensive and reusable display supports can also be found at shop fitting suppliers. Consider each of your objects and the best way to display them as a group. An object such as this telephone headset benefits from being displayed upright using small hooks. To keep your display looking professional, it is important to make sure your labels and mounted objects are displayed straight. A spirit level can make this task easy. Labels can be more easily read if they are mounted on an angle. Label rests like this can also be made from strong cardboard or foam core. A more interesting display can be achieved by displaying objects at different levels. You can combine historical photographs with your label text to create an informative label. You may use basic word processing software to create labels like this, or design software if you have it available. You could use quotes from diaries, journals or newspaper articles to help tell the story. When creating your object labels, use one clear font with the object name or title in bold. It is common practice to use a sans serif font such as Helvetica or Arial with a minimum point size of 12. Labels can be printed on plain white paper or adhesive paper and mounted on foam core. Trim the labels with a sharp Stanley knife to ensure you have a nice straight edge. Sometimes you may be putting together an exhibition on your own or within a very small team. It is important to always have someone to run your ideas past, to proofread your labels and to give feedback on display ideas. Since this exhibition was touring, it used a combination of pull-up banners with interpretation text and photographs, combined with small labels within the cabinets. You could do something similar with a larger overall interpretation panel attached to strong card along with smaller labels within the display cabinet. We hope that you can use some of these practical ideas to assist with your small exhibitions. If you are creating a one cabinet display, it may not be necessary to develop a full blown exhibition proposal, but thinking about your exhibition under these terms can assist you to focus your ideas and consider all aspects of the exhibition development. See our website for an exhibition proposal template and more resources and templates to assist you with your exhibitions and collection management.